So does the way you set up your fans actually matter in your gaming PC? The answer to that question might actually surprise you, so definitely stay tuned to the video. But does the way you actually set up the orientation of pulling air in and exhausting air out actually matter to the temperatures of the components in your PC? So I decided to put that question to the test with an existing build that I have uh, lying around. It's in the Cooler Master MB320L case, which is a micro ATX case, but it's the perfect setup because it allows two front intakes or exhaust in a bunch of different cases, uh, two fans at the top of the case, and then one rear fan at the back of the case, which means we have a bunch of different ways we can set up the fans. We can have two front intakes and then a rear and top exhaust. We can have air coming in through the top and exhausting out the front. So we're gonna go through all of those different setups in a little bit, but here's an overall look at the build that we have going on. So we have a i7-4790 CPU. It's not the greatest CPU. It's not gonna run super hot because you can't overclock it. It's a few generations old at this point, more than a few. But overall, it's still a solid CPU with four cores and eight threads. And we also have a T400 graphics card from NVIDIA. This is a Quadro. It's a very small form factor, which means it's not gonna have the best cooling potential, very small fan. But at the same time, that gives us a great opportunity to see if the way we set up our fans is actually going to affect the temperatures of our components. So that's what we're gonna be focusing on for the most part is the actual uh, GPU temperatures in this case. CPU most likely isn't gonna fluctuate super heavily because we're not dealing with the best cooling solution in this case either. But we'll focus on the GPU temps as well as fan speed to see if the way we set up our fans actually affects the temperatures as well as the noise level of our PC. So as I mentioned at the beginning, there's a bunch of different ways we can set up the fans in this case. Uh, the most common, the one you'd most likely see in every other case is two front intakes, two top exhaust, and then one rear uh, exhaust fan exhausting air out the back. And this really helps aid in just the natural flow of hot air in a case. You have your cool air coming in, going through your CPU cooler, and then out the back, as well as hot air using, you know, just the natural tendency of hot air to rise and then exhausting out the top. But that's not the only way we can set up our fans in this case. We can also do two intakes from the top, uh, exhausting out the front and the rear of the case, really throwing fresh air straight down at the CPU and the GPU, and then exhausting out the front and the back. And then if we really wanna get a little bit crazy, we can have all of the fans blowing air into the case, just all in uh, kind of blowing air in, but this leads to a bunch of problems and how do we get the hot air out of the case? It's gonna have to find some way to exhaust and it's gonna be through all the cracks and crevices in this case, really leaning heavily on a very positive pressure situation inside of this case. Positive pressure meaning we're having more air intake than we can actually exhaust out, leading to a higher pressure situation inside of the case than the air surrounding it. And then we can go completely the opposite and do very negative pressure, sucking all the air out of the case, but then we come into the problem of where do we get cool air into the case? So we can shove air out the front, top, and back, and then use all of those cracks and crevices to draw fresh air in, but that's gonna limit the amount of air we can actually bring into the system to cool our components. So there's a bunch of different ways to set these up, but those are the four main setups that I wanted to try in this video to see if there's really a tremendous difference in the way you set up your fans and how your components will react. And after going through all the testing using both Furmark and Cinebench to get our CPU and GPU running at 100% utilization for the duration of our 10 minute test, we have a conclusion on the temperatures inside of our case and specifically our GPU. So although I was kind of thinking that there was definitely going to be a difference in temperatures, the way we set up our fans, I didn't think it would be kind of as small a margin as actually we get with these different setups. So our worst performing setup is all uh, the fans as exhaust and our best performing setup is the one we see all the time and that's front intake and then rear and top exhaust. However, there's only a really a one degree difference between all of these going from front intake to top intake and then all in and all out. 
So overall, there's not a crazy difference in temperatures, max temperatures of our GPU based on our fan orientation, but there's definitely still, you can, you can clearly see the difference in these setups and a few degrees does help, especially when you're looking at you know, other components that you might want to overclock, a few degrees might give you the headroom to get a few extra megahertz out of a GPU or a CPU in terms of an overclock. And then when it comes to fan speed, similar story, the exact same setup, but this time about a 50 RPM difference for each one of our configurations on our GPU, meaning louder fan noise coming from the case. So we had to spin up the fans on our GPU to account for those higher temperatures and we had to spin up the fans also to sustain those higher temperatures. So overall, although there's not that crazy of a difference in temperature, you can definitely clearly see that the best setup is front intake and top and rear exhaust, but it's not out of the question to run an all exhaust setup with your fans. Now, what do you guys think? I mean, were you expecting that you know, there would be more of a close gap between these different setups. Are you surprised at all with how some of these setups performed? Leave all that down in the comments below. If you have any questions or comments, definitely leave those down there as well. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, get subscribed to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one.